Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Mr. West, and uh, I was just doing a Khan Academy on horizontal and vertical lines, so why don't you join me? So right now it's asking me, what is the slope of the line? And uh, I have some different options here. So what I decided to do is I decided to find two points on my line, um, and I would just look for an intersection there. So this first point is 5, 6, and the second point is 5, 2. Okay, and so what I was doing is I was going to try to figure out the, the rise over the run because that is what my slope is. Slope is equal to rise over run. And the rise is the change in the y's. And the run is the changes in the x. Okay, you rise with the y's and you run from your x. That's a way to remember. Now, if you want, you can label this and blah, 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 blah. What I like to do is I just like to, um, you could call this, just so you know what I mean by blah, blah, blah. You can just label it like this, x2, y2, and you can plug it into your formula. What I like to do is I just like to count. So I start at the bottom point and I look at my rise. Okay, how much do I rise? How much do I change vertically from the bottom point to the top point? I go up one, I go up two, I go up three, and, and I go up four. I was having a hard time seeing it a second. Okay, so my rise is four. So if I'm talking about my rise over my run, I just did this and my rise was four. Okay, run, that's left and right movement, okay? So my run, how much do I move left and to the right? Well, I didn't move left and right any, I just went straight up. So what does that mean, what do I put? That means I put zero, okay? So I went up four and I didn't go left and right any. So I put, uh, my run was zero. And you'll get the same thing if you plug this into this formula because you'll get x2 is five, x1 is 5, and that equals 0, okay? That's what I'm talking about right there. Now, what does that mean? 4 divided by 0, well, hopefully you guys recognize that that means it's undefined. That is not 0. That is an undefined slope, okay? An infinite slope, will you? So it goes up and down infinitely. So what is my answer? I got to look for undefined, and there it is. Undefined slope. All vertical lines have undefined slopes. Next question. We got a lot here. I'm going to try to just plow right through this. Graph y equals negative 6, okay? This is a different case. So anytime we have x equals a number, that's going to be a vertical line, and the slope is going to be undefined. So we're going to have an undefined slope. Conversely, anytime we have y equals a number, notice how there's no x and y, just x by itself with a number, y by itself in a number, this is going to be a horizontal line with a zero slope, okay? Anytime we have a y, technically it's in slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y intercept. In this case, our slope is zero, zero times x, and then we have minus six. And this is the same equation, y. All of a sudden, you just wrote in 0x. How can you do that? Well, 0 times x is 0. Oops, sorry. I meant to just put 0. And then we put minus 6. Then we have zero, y equals negative 6. This is the place uh, where all the points have a y value of negative 6. So what we can do is we can plot our y-intercept first, negative 6. And now we're going to use our slope. Our slope is 0. So we're going to go up 0, okay? And to the right, well, how do you turn it into a fraction? Zero over one. That's our rise over our run. So we're going to go to the right one. We're going to go up zero, and we're going to go to the right one. Up zero to the right one. Up zero to the right one. These are all the places where y equals negative six. So this point is zero, negative six. This point right here, that is three, comma, negative six. If we were to do another one, we can go over here. This would be the point. Uh, negative 6, negative 6. What do you notice in common? It's all the places where y equals negative 6. So what we're going to do here is we are just going to plot this because it's a horizontal line. y equals negative 6. Check it out. All right, I'm going to cruise through the next ones. What is the slope of the line? x equals negative 3. This is a vertical line, or yeah, vertical line because we have x equals number, so we know it's an undefined slope. And if I'm going too fast, just go ahead and pause, rewind, any, anything like that, okay? Now, if we're asked to graph it, we know it's going to be a vertical line, and we're going to look for the x value of negative 5. There it is. So we want all the x values to be negative 5. So this would be the point negative 5, comma, 4. This would be point negative 5, comma, 0. Over here, that would be 
negative 5 comma negative 5. What do you see in common? All the x values are negative 5. That's a vertical line. So check that. Good. Next question. What is the equation of the line? This one's probably a little bit tricky for some people. You might say, oh, this is where x equals 0. Look, there's the x-axis, and it's right on the line. That's x equals 0. No. It's a horizontal line. What does that mean? Horizontal line is y equals a number. Where, where is the y intercepting? It's intercepting right at 0. The y value is 0 at that line. So it's y equals 0. x equals 0 looks like this. Hold on, let, me, let me draw. x equals 0 is a vertical line right on the y-axis. I know it's a little confusing. Okay, why does it call it, why is it called the y-axis if it's x equals 0? Because that's where x equals 0. It's not to the left, it's not to the right, it's right on 0 for our x values for my x-axis. Okay, same deal for y-axis, it's not up, it's not down, it's right on the y value of 0. Okay, so it's y equals 0. Uh, y equals 0. Boom. Check it out. Next question. What is the equation of the vertical line? There's our key. Vertical line. Label my x, label my y. I know a vertical line means x equals a number. What number? I just choose the x. But what do I do with the negative 2? You ignore it. You don't need the negative 2. Okay? It's going to be going through lots of y values, an infinite number of y values. We just care about the x value because it's a vertical line. Whoops, that's times. Don't hit the times button. Make sure you hit the x button right here. x equals negative 5. Check it. All right, next question. We're going to get 100% here. What is the slope of the line? We already know this. If it's horizontal, it's zero. If it's vertical, it's undefined. You're going to have this sound, which means you did super well. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.